Hi, welcome to Muzzle First. Today I wanted to show you a uh, Cobalt multi-tool that I purchased recently. Um, I bought this at Lowe's and they still have it last time I was there and checked, but uh, I've not done a lot of serious things with this, but I have played with it a little bit and I uh, just wanted to show you what comes included in this. This is only $15, so when you look at it, you're going to see it's a $15 multi-tool. Um, this, uh, this is not a Leatherman. Um, it's not the quality of a Leatherman or a SOG or a couple other brands, but for 15 bucks for something to throw in your truck that you may never use or throw in your tackle box, it would be worth it would be worth buying, definitely. So let's take a look here and we'll see. Um, it does come with a knife. I'll show you the knife here. Um, the surface on it, there is no texturing to it. It's all it's pretty slick. It's it's stainless. Um, you can flip it open. One thing I will tell you, um, I'm not much on a serrated blade. It is uh, semi-serrated. The back half of the blade is serrated edge. But one thing I will tell you is if you snap it open like I just did, um, this blade sticks. There you go. When you snap it open like that, it seems like it goes a little too far. It over-travels. But, like I said, it's a $15 combination kit. So, you know, I'm not going to carry this. Um, I might give it to my son or something or throw it in a bag somewhere but all right multi-tool once again slick surface this is nothing that you you wouldn't be able to hold on to this if you if your hands were oily or anything but uh one thing i will tell you is the lock up on it is pretty tight there's not a lot of a uh, i can twist on it here there's not a lot of play in it um when you uh close the teeth you see there's not there's not a lot of gaps in there it actually closes up pretty tight um it's squared i've had them before some of the real cheap ones where they're offset there you go see if i twist on it right there so you can see it go just a little bit out of square so it's not quite as tight as a leatherman but uh eh, let's see let's see what came in it here all right got a nail file no problems getting that one out of there you have a saw which actually is very sharp. There you go. You've got a Phillips screwdriver. You can see that. And you have a regular screwdriver. So that's what comes on this side of it. So it's it's that's, that's the basics. All right. This side you have more of a wood saw. You can see it's got the, uh, the offset teeth. So, if you wanted to use it to cut down a small branch or something for firewood, you could. Uh, it does come with a small blade. And I'm going to show you something about the, this blade here in just a second. I'm going to show you what else comes in this multi-tool first, if I can do it without cutting myself. It is very sharp. I will tell you that. It, it did come um, extremely sharp. I've not sharpened it. Don't plan on sharpening it. Um, all right. So, you got a couple more little screwdrivers. You can see that. They're... Uh, couple more sizes you could probably even use the way the small one is shaped here you might even be able to use that for a punch all right and then we have a can opener which would probably double as a bottle opener um, the way it's made I have used the uh, this style of can opener on the Leatherman for a bottle opener um, and it does work so all right let's close this up here I want to show you something real quick here all right this is not detrimental. Um, keep in mind that you are buying a $15, and this was not on sale. It was $15 and some change, everyday price. So I didn't pay a lot for it. All right. Um, let's see if I can show this or not. I guess I can get a little bit of a glare off of here. So if you can zoom off, we can see this here. There we go. You see that little notch right here? You see, like, it looks like a little, uh, it looks like a line, and that's kind of what it is. There's a line there. That's directly on the opposite of where they cut the uh, notch for your fingernail to pull it out with. So I'm assuming this metal is probably very brittle, because it looks to me like whenever they cut that, it actually punctured all the way through the other side and it cracked it. So, like I said, um, not detrimental for what I have planned for this, 
like I said, I'm going to throw it in a bag and it's going to stay in there and I probably will never ever need it or I'll give it to my son. And uh, he's got to where he carries a multi tool, but um, knife usable. Um, the clip would actually the clip actually fits in your pocket pretty good. It is a uh, it sticks out a little more than I like, but it does go pretty deep. You can see that there is a there is a little bit that will hang out of your pocket on these. Um, I do like the clips that deep conceal the knife, where you can't uh, you can't really see it. You just see a clip sticking out of there. But once again, this knife is I mean it's it's very sharp. Um, don't know what the steel is, or I would tell you it is not labeled. Um, the stiffling on the back here is is pretty good. It's it grips your thumb real nice, and uh, the way it's inset here at the bottom. I mean, you get a really you get a really firm grip, grip. You get a really firm grasp on this knife, so I wouldn't be too concerned about it slipping out of my hand. Even though there's no uh, there's no grip on the side of it at all. All your grip on this knife is at the bottom, right here, and at the top. But that's it. I just wanted to show you this. Um, if you're interested, they do have these at Lowe's. Um, once again, it's Cobalt. You can see the, the brand there, and they do have their name stamped on both pieces here. Not sure where it's made or who made it, but uh, for the 15 bucks, it's worth 15 bucks. Um, I'm not sure I would pay much more than that for it, but it is worth 15 bucks. All right. If you like the video, um, please like, subscribe, um, leave comments below. Anything that you'd want to see, let me know. Thank you.